gaming content for reasonable prices. Welcome back to the Jack 4 stream. I'm making a video game known as Jack 4. I have been, I have gone against the wishes of Naughty Dog, gone on my own, gone rogue, as they say. I have a coat on, or I have a sweater on because I went pizza. I went pizza, as they say. So I need to take this off. It's too hot for coats inside. But okay, we have, we did some, uh, we did some fun stuff last time. I'm just making stuff and it's not, it's like barely functional. This is a disaster. I should have made a smaller game. Is it too late to make a smaller game for the game jam? Alright, I, I can get rid of that thing. But alright, so last time I, had, I accidentally left the BRB screen on for the whole time, well after like a break. But basically what I did was I made this little, uh, this little climbable shortcut up, because basically now you can knock down all this stuff once you get up there, and then you have this shortcut. So let's see how it looks. <coughs> And it's going to be hilariously anemic, the actual, like, knocking down the things animation, because it's it's a bit outside of my skill set to, like, make high-quality animations. Especially, like, destruction. I don't really know how to destroy things properly, or, like, make things fall convincingly. I'd need, like, I'd need to, like, create a rig for the building itself. Way too much. Way too much work for me. Uh oh. Man, I don't know how players are actually gonna gonna understand how this works. to move this over to the side. So I'll just do another, I'll do a quick review of how this works, or this shortcut. Basically, instead of a boring walk, you have an exciting climb. This, I'll probably, I'll probably make this too, yeah, this is, this is too, too difficult. I'll do that now. What is this? Areas, chunks. Chunk 113. Right. Need to do the fall. Because I need to create another of these. And I'll just, I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm just going to do that. And that won't show up at all. Actually, not only did it not show up, it completely busted the game. But yeah, that, that'll make that climb a little bit easier. Because this is meant to be a shortcut, it's, and because what the player is supposed to do typically is they're supposed to walk all the way down to that uh, that ledge way over there, and then climb up, and then walk around here. So this should provide a fast, easy way. Well, relatively easy 
It's actually a pretty treacherous cr climb. Like, look at this. And that's, that's precarious. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to figure out what what is up with that. Like, there's something... Okay, I think I know what it is. It's because it uses slide, so... Where is... Spin kick. So yeah, it shouldn't use Excel. It should use Excel, um... Well, actually what it should do. That. And then the, um... Then whatever this... Where is the lunge kick? That needs that, I think. Does it do a slide? No, it doesn't do, it doesn't even do snapping. Yeah, so this one needs it. So that should, um, it's still kind of janky. But it seems a lot less janky. Because yeah, basically it was just it was snapping to the ground, but the ground is way below the character, so the character was then, like, being shot like a gun straight down. And then we have the, this precarious, treacherous climb. And now we're back up. So this should save a couple minutes of walking for the player. In exchange, they have to do, like, a minute of, like, intense climbing. Maybe I should put the, um, there should be a water tender out here. Oh well. And there's so much stuff I need to do with that. Um... What if... Um, I'm going to try and figure out, I need to get area. Collision shape. Box shape. So I'm going to have a box around this whole building and then any flags that are in it, when it falls over, will be deleted. And if the most recent flag is in there, um, it'll be destroyed or something. Or um, the player's respawn point will be changed to like, let's say like, uh, right here. And I need sound effects for this. Oh, man. And I'm going to I'm going to set the layer for them to be um 8. Where is Entities, flag. Maybe this? I mean, yeah, that would work. This is a physics thing. So it, it physically computes 
That feels like it'll be pretty bad performance, but oh well. bodies if g dot trans oh wait right because the position of the player when they place the flag isn't the actual flag position like it saves where the player is when they place the flag so what I should do is var l equals um, g dot global transform dot origin minus get player dot global transform origin dot length. No, no. I still need. I need just global dot game state dot check. checkpoint position. If L that length. If L is less than uh, let's say like three then Checkpoint position equals um, flag spawn and then g dot q free. So all of that. is so that I can um, is so that when the player places a flag down and then they blow this thing up it doesn't like blow up the whole world let's do picked I need picked Master pick up, All right. No longer picking that. And also we need to disable the stats for um, chunk 113. So what is it? Capacitor? Yeah, this one. Don't need that. So now when I restart the game, everything should look A-OK. -okay. Huh, why is my flag... Oh, right. 
because the game reset and I was I had placed a bunch of flags on the shortcut and that's not gonna be an issue because the shortcuts never gonna unfall like that shortcut is permanent but just because I'm cheating and stuff I gotta actually hmm I'm not gonna waste dev time doing that. I'm gonna waste dev time doing this, so what is this thing's global transform? Seventeen fifty zero two fifty. Two hundred, two fifty. I got pizza here. It's completely edible. Amazing. I think I need to do some work on the climbing animation since now you can climb up vertical walls. Since originally it was only intended for like these, these like 60 degree angles. And also because when you're looking to the side and climbing it looks really bad and stuff like that. Good thing I put that there. Hmm. I don't know if I like how trial and error that is, though. And I think that's probably where the player is going to discover that they can climb up this wall. know if I showed all of this or if it was destroyed by the BRB. But okay, so all of these should disappear. And also this will be good to show off or to see the um, the start of this thing because right now this uh, oh my god Terrifying. But yeah, I can show off that animation, which is still not done. I still need to animate the top part better. And I mean, all of it could be a lot better. And I need, like, dust and um, other things. Sound effects are a big one. Hopefully the player figures, hopefully that isn't too unintuitive, that you can start climbing this slope from the ground, but not from the air. Okay, that's not too bad. Wait, did I ever actually... 
Oh wait, no, I did do this. And that's one place where, yeah, for example, like there, because you can see really obviously that the wall, or that the climbing animation doesn't attach to the wall. So I really should uh, do that better. But I'm so happy that my uh, my walking isn't awful anymore. I mean, it's not it's not exact. Ooh, it's not great because there's still that bit of jank there. Oh, that's a weird thing. Your stamina recharges faster when you're jumping. I may want to change that. So that, like, your stamina maybe doesn't recharge when you jump, or maybe there's a slight delay after jumping. Because otherwise, you can like climb up to something and then jump up and down a bunch when you get to a ledge. Oh my god. Well, that was a bizarre interaction. Okay, but this is a pretty cool view. I mean, it is pretty obvious that there's like uh, nothing out there, but it was pretty obvious anyway. And that's also, there's a lot of problems with the camera as well, like the fact that you can just go through the world like that. There's a lot of things that I need. Okay, but let's see what this looks like. Should start gradually moving. Isn't it? Is it not? It should. Did it not? Okay, where's the picked items? Yeah, so that's picked. I have no capacitors. And I need um, that to be done. So what are the errors? Oh, okay. Uh... Hmm.
Okay, so what I've done now is I've removed this error. And okay, the rest of these aren't related to that. Or, uh, area spatial. So I think this stat change signal might not work. Tag value. Okay, so I, I'm doing that right. Now what should happen is when I get this, the flag should disappear, the animation should play. It didn't work. Um, <clears throat> what am I doing? No, do I need to? Okay, so I am doing that right. What are all these numbers? What are all these numbers from? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, it's from the music. I'm an idiot. Why did I keep that there? Right? Isn't it from? Yeah, there it is. Print volume DB. Stupid. Okay, so the signal should be emitted. So yeah, it changed the stats. On stat changed, print stat. It emitted it three times? What?
What is that? Capacitor 113. Right. I didn't, um... Wait, but this debug print should have been showing up. Because I didn't set this to high res here. But it should still have printed an error. Changed stat. Capacitor. 113. All right, why is this printing three times? All right, because, oh God. All right, all three of them are capacitor. Why is it adding capacitor three times? Did I change the name of this capacitor here? Um, where is it? It would be tower top. Capacitor 113. Change stat capacitor. Change stat capacitor 11. Oh my god. It's because, it's because I, it's one shot. It should disconnect here. So yeah, once it falls, then it does that. And it doesn't even need to do any of this. All right. Oh, wait. The syntax is invalid. Eventually, everyone should decide on whether we want to do ELSIF or ELIF. All right, there we go. See, that's... Oh, okay, this is actually really fast looking here. Oh my god. I mean, it, it lands super lame. That's so lame when it lands, but otherwise it's pretty cool. And then these little guys. Just chilling out. They just move upside down. Hmm. This one is kind of bad. I don't like that color. The important thing now is to get that animation looking good, or at least better. So let's check on this one. Why is this not here? I put this here. Oh wait, no. I need that tower top. Like, I literally... Okay, whatever. So, 
here, it needs to like not sit there for like five seconds and like dance around and do a little goofy dance. Tournament translation. I think these need to be like faster. Probably that needs to be like If I can do much better than that. I think this. Let's just have it pushed way out. Like, um, by here it needs to be like all the way out here. Like, way kicked out. Whatever is happening there is dumb with this tower. Like I think this translation needs to be done much quicker. Oh wait, not for that one. For this one. One thing that really needs to change is um, how it like pivots there. Okay, so that is a rotation and translation thing. So it needs to like be done rotating first. I really should have had it like rotate about its. Um, I should have put that origin in the center of mass. I shouldn't have put it like at this random place. So when it lands here, it needs to like be there already. Because it needs to be pivoting on this point. Eh, that's close enough. Did I change the end position though? I think I did. Because this wasn't normally like this. Oh well.
and it like is just inexplicably squished out. You know, like that's doing its thing. How am I going to negotiate this? I need this platform to be in a completely different location. It needs to be like over here. Um, that's... And then it's like... I don't know what exactly happens here. Maybe it does a sick little flip. Like, when it's down here, it's like in here. That's not going to look anything right. Like, that's not even going to look close to right. Because then it has to, like, flip all the way up here. Yeah, no way. Um... This is hard. I think the best solution I can come up with is that this just is like there. And that's where it is. So it's like crunched in. And then it's just, I don't know, here for some reason. This. Yeah, so it just it just it just gets pushed into the ground, inexplicably comes out on top. And this like flounders around as it as it comes to a tumble. And then let's do the tower top now. So we know where it ends up. And it doesn't actually matter where it ends up, though, but I'm gonna... Let's just make this, like, fall like this. See, like this one, I knew what I was doing, because I actually put it in the proper place. See, it's just gonna slide off. doesn't actually matter if it because I can have it just like let's see what this feels like it feels too fast there like that little section there or too slow here so like because it sl slides and then it suddenly boosts up in speed and it like kicks it into gear um, and then it and then this comes to a complete stop I think this needs to be like there at this point it needs to like get flung And then not like, and then not do that. Okay. Let's just have that like fall faster. 
Actually, I've changed my mind. Yeah, so that, like, sudden stop there. So maybe this, the justification can be, this one is in free fall, so it's going faster. This one is, like, sliding up against the rock and, like, grinding and stuff. And also it needs to, like, um, slam into place. I don't know which one of those will do that. That's the opposite of what I want, I think. So I want it to, like, accelerate, accelerate. It's not accelerating, really. But I want it to, like, instantly stop, like, like, to not slow down in the ground. Well, I guess it can slow down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have it, like, slide down like this. That didn't work at all. That didn't even work slightly. Like, what the f- What is this? Yuck. Just make that linear then. No thank you. If I'm not smart enough to figure out cubic interpolation, I'll just make it linear. it a little bit further up and then yeah and then yeah so if we look at this and fast forward eh, nothing to write home about I think it'll be fun enough when the player is on it Also, I, I'm going to change this to, like, an end-over-end -end rotation. Then it's going to... It's just going to keep rotating. See if I can. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, that is in the biz. <clears throat> what I would call good enough. I mean, not really, but this is only like a one month thing, but okay, let's see. The flag should disappear. It did not disappear. Oh. Yeah, so those are falling slower than I do, but they're not falling that much slower. And I think if I... If I get some, like, dust particles, that would seem good enough to me. Uh, 
I also like how this guy is still here. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a whole bunch of, um... Well, maybe not a whole bunch, but I'm gonna have a decent amount of things that are only unlocked once the... Once you've come back to here. Ooh, because there's like a bunch of climbable stuff. This is actually pretty fun. Because <clears throat> like I could have like more enemies up here or like extra bugs and gems and things because that, that's what this is. It's gem surface. That's good. Okay, I think that's okay. So I'm gonna officially say that the that the um, the tower is done ish. Well. <clears throat> I want more, like, stuff on it. Like, on the top. I said that I was gonna... Like, what could we put up here? We could put one of those uh, coliseums that I made. Or maybe, like, um... So I think the player gets onto it from, like, this side. Or somewhere, like, here. Yeah, it's somewhere, like, around here is where they get on it. So maybe... Maybe this can be, like, here... On something. And there's, like, bugs around it. And then this is like on top of this. And there's like things that you have to platform to, I think, maybe. And I think maybe these guys should also be on towers that you can climb up and hit them on. Then maybe like... Um, Something like this. Like I could create some kind of wall here. <clears throat> then I don't know what's gonna be here, maybe like a crawler. Or two. Hmm. figure out dust clouds I wonder if there's dithering opacity in this uh, I think there should be but okay This will be this is a great resolution for that. Why do they lock the background? Who is like, yes, I need this plain white background. It's absolutely paramount 
that nobody messes up my plain white background because what am I going to do without a plain white background? This isn't what dust looks like. This isn't even slightly what dust looks like. See, like this one is what dust looks like. <clears throat> huh? I think I did something wrong. There is some sort of like smudging texture that I used. I think these are going to work terribly well because I need like a large amount of dust. They've got to be big emitters. Um, draw passes one. Quad mesh. It's so hard to just set up a particle. Like, you have to do so much of this work yourself when it's, like, never going to be done any other way. All right, I'm complaining too much. Particles. Like I have to set up its material, like the draw pass has a pass. Then it, I need to make a new material for it. It's like, whatever. <clears throat> Like, I need to use particle billboard instead of billboard. Roughness, material, transmission. Now I need to set up a process material.
Can I even set up a random rotation? Okay, I can. That's decent. Scale. Um. Yeah. It's okay. Color ramp. Is that right? Hmm. How much variation can I get away with? I don't see any of this. I need this to be attached to mid. And also, for drawing, I need to use global coordinates. I need, like... How do I change the color over time? I certainly don't change it with that. Oh wait, no I do. I just have to set this in here. So it's not... Okay. Where is the color? Alright, Christ on a bike. Hmm, I wonder if I can change the position randomly. I can set this. I have no idea why a gradient texture would need to be 2400 or 28, 20, 2000. All right. A thing. Let's make it like that. Doesn't this fade out over time? Okay, it does. That's good. Just do like 10 of them. I wonder how many of these things I would be able to have at once. I'm only going to have a few at a time.
Yeah, there's going to be one on each corner of each of these structures. And I'm going to start with the medium one. Wait, I need these. Okay, they are in the low res. I don't understand how these per particles are any more performant than regular meshes since they apparently just draw with like regular ass meshes. But maybe there's like some instancing going on or something. Hopefully. Alright, whatever. Need this. I need all of these. Did I? I put all of these in the wrong place. Let's see now. Also, I need to... Uh, duplicate keys, so... Start emitting there. I think these ones don't really need to be. Well, I also have this one start emitting. Can I please? Oh, wait, I forgot to set it to keyframe. Wait. I need to go back a few seconds. Let's see what this looks like. Um, I could definitely use bigger dust. Yeah, because I need like a lot right there. Maybe I can just do like I'm going to change this one. So I need to completely remove that. Let's have it emit here. Because it's just going to emit once. Time. Um, Drawing, lifetime one shot, be like eight seconds.
handle uh where's direction be random let's see what this looks like pretty good. As soon as I uh, make the angle random, or whatever I'm making random. What am I making random? Rotation maybe? I need to like fix this and like figure out what I'm doing wrong. There we go. Uh. Okay, so that seems about right. That's not what I wanted. I wanted one shot. All right, let's see this one in action. Also, why, weren't, why didn't the flags disappear? I still need to figure that out. But more importantly, I'm gonna... Oh my god. I think I need to... I need to like create a scaling um, curve. This will be like uh, that. Maybe. Maybe more like. Um, This is a terrible, like, is this meant to be, like, a Bezier curve? This isn't at all a Bezier curve. It's terrible. So bad. Like, it's not even, like, I can't just make it half... Oh, whatever. Whatever. I'll just move it up a little bit. What is that? Oh, it's shading. That's like laughable. That's laugh. That's so bad. Okay, it's just gonna have to be unshaded, I think. Unless there's some magical parameter that I'm not understanding that's gonna make it better, but I don't think so. Just do unshaded.
Hmm. Is there a way that something can be unshaded but still receive shadows? Those particles are a pain to work with because there's no good defaults. Like, it's like, oh, you want particles that are just quads of sprites that billboard? Well, make sure you make your own quad and your own material and make sure you set all the parameters just right, or else it's just not going to work the way that it's supposed to, instead of, you know, having some method of like creating them. doesn't look good. Eh. It's something. I'm not going to write home about it. Let's see what I need for this one. I think I only need um, the one time emitter. See, I'm only gonna have um, I'm gonna have two of these. They're gonna be like right um, here and here. And they're both gonna emit like right here. Or no, this one. This one's gonna emit like um there. And then this one limit right at the end ish oh wait but I all right I have to go to reset oh wait but I have to make these um These can't actually be at the right at the end because otherwise they would um, otherwise they would trigger when it does the seeking. Okay. All right, and it has to remove those flags. Um. Also, this didn't work as this. Your shape set, static body, transform. Um, collision layer eight. Chunk one thirteen flag deletion mass gate. Okay. So when I get this, let's 
grab this. Where'd my flag go? It's still there. Oh, wait, because it's removing the body or something. Also, I'm just going to pretend that this is intentional. You know, that it's like dust and stuff moving around. Also, okay. And this looks pretty good. And it's not like killing my frame rate because it's only like 72 sprites or something. I mean, there's a murder on fill rate, but... I could also do like dithering if I really wanted to. But okay, that seems to be pretty good. And it adds a bit of pizzazz up here. And all these guys are upside down. So maybe I should make it so that these guys auto automatically write themselves when they're not doing anything. I got some wicked tinnitus right now. But okay, on to important matters. Which coat should I wear? I think this one. It's a nice color. It's an alright pattern. This is so much damage. This causes like an enormous disruption in their environment. Maybe I should make this part of the story as like um... Because I was talking earlier on a stream previously about how um, I want Jackie to sort of demonstrate that she doesn't particularly care about this region for the first major parts of the story. So this seems like a good way. Maybe someone can warn her beforehand about like that dis like removing the capacitor from this tower could cause it to collapse, which could be damaging to the environment. And then it's like, well, it is. It is damaging. Like, they can't get, like, um... Or at least... It doesn't completely block the area, but it does, like, halfway block it. I should probably do something about these guys being all sideways and upside down by the time they get here. But I also don't want them to spawn up there, so... Hmm. I mean, I guess I could make it so that they only spawn conditionally. That would actually make a lot more sense. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, so I need a spatial. This will be... Um, some kind of condition. So like, enemies... Normal. And this will have the conditional thing. So it'll be like... Um, all of these enemies will only be spawned when there's not that flag for the capacitor. Hmm. Enemies dialogue. So. Global.stat. Not global.stat.
So let's get all of our all of these. So enemies no shortcut. And so what should happen is when I respawn or restart the game, I think I'll be flung uncontrollably still because my thing just isn't working with the areas. Oh wait, no, okay, because I saved again. And that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's fix that. So what is that from? That resets, and then when you fall... Why is that set? Okay, let's see what this looks like. That's not good enough. Because, like, these one-time things, I want them to, like, hmm. Let's just do um, disable part. I'll even delete them. So basically, there should just be no particles when you do this. Yeah, look at that. It's just out here. And then there'll be a bunch of gems and a bunch of stuff. Let's add those now. Well, yeah, might as well. But most importantly, I really need to figure out what exactly, actually. So first off, I know. Um, change type. This is a very high quality um, solution to my problem. And that blows up, and then these all fall. Maybe I should have a little animation for. Oh my god! I need to. F <laughs> I need to unscrew up that. Or maybe not. That is funny. Let 
And that should be way earlier. So yeah, like, um, should probably be like here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Why is that one going so much longer? I guess it started earlier. Or later. I should say the thing that I mean instead of the opposite of what I mean. And those guys are still up there. Patrolling their little area. Hmm. I could add things, I could add like the little things that I'm supposed to add. Hmm. this up a little bit eventually there we go What else do I have to do today? Well, I... Okay. Oh, wait, no, I did fix the flags. Let's see where I spawn. Oh, right, and it should... I should also remove the, um... Remove the flags from the thing. So let's do that. So where is it? Flag, detection, flag, so it'll be, um, G, this will be a bit clunky. Native one.
if f equal Okay, so I'm just going to have to do a linear search, so it'll be... If matched... Flags... Move... Oh wait, I have to, um, okay, so we know that that spawning works in the right way. I need to, uh, yeah, do that. Because now when all these flags blow up, I need to, um, I need to make sure that they stay gone when I reload the game. I need to also figure out a way to fix that problem. What's the frame rate like on your side? Because it looks terrible in the preview, but for some reason it looks way better than it usually does on my end. Like, I usually complain about like the frame rate being sluggish, but it looks fine now. It looks awful in the preview though, like just w the worst. I hope that that's not what it looks like in game. Okay. Now I should respawn on top of that little thing. All right. And there's no flags up in the air. Well, there's one. Okay. And that's probably just because the, um, the thing isn't properly set up. Yeah. So let's reset this. Let's see what it looks like. Yep, I see exactly what it is. There we go. No stray flags out in the middle of the air. That flag is gone.
and I should add okay so I need for this thing I'll just have that be good enough for now but I'm gonna add some shortcut stuff so maybe um, shortcut stuff um, Encounter at the top of the thing, or like better level sounds, sounds and screen shake. Okay. To be honest, I've been sitting in this chair all day, but I'm going to fix some, I'm going to try and fix some of these bugs. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what it is. I don't think I should do this Q free. They're just going to not emit. Which hopefully works like I want it to. And it doesn't. I can just accept those for now. I don't know what changed with my monitor such that, like, I mean, I didn't even unplug and plug it back in, I don't think, since the last time I streamed, and then it was like running at 20 FPS here. Hmm. Ah, well. <sighs> I'm going to have to call it a bit early. I think I made some decent progress. I want to get this done probably in my free time. Because I'm just not feeling it right now. I think I need to go for like a long walk. Or like get some water or something. And then I'll be back tomorrow and hopefully I'll stream for a full day for the first time in like two weeks. Uh, see you then.